Welcome to Million Fortune Online Resources. We are continuing with our series called Stage by Stage Business Development and this is our second lesson. Chris Crosser said once, Opportunities don't happen. You create them. What does inception mean? It is simply the establishment or starting point of an institution or an activity. Let's take an example. Remember the time when we had analog TVs, if you were searching for your favorite channel and you get this. You would have said, simply no. If it improved to this, you would have said, just maybe. If it improved to this, you would have said, that is much better. If it improved to this, you would have said, now, this is perfect. Inception stage is all about opportunity focusing to establish your idea. This is a common sense confirmation stage. You have done enough research in your previous stage and you have the ABC of what you want to do. You have some amount of information and you need to make decision to continue or abandon your idea. You have decided to continue working on this great idea. Now what's next? Focus is very crucial at this point. There can be the possibility of the business expanding in the future, but the first stage of your business should be quite narrowly defined. All you need to know is that you need to make good decisions right from the start. It is important to include objectives and goals at this stage. Have you ever heard the saying think big, but start small? That's right, it is what I mean here. The main point is you don't do everything at once, you don't need everything at once, things go stage by stage. There is a primary reality about construction all over the world. Any building that is constructed has a superior chance of lasting if built on bedrock, than if built on sand. This is why it is so important that your business has a solid foundation. How can you make sure that this is the case with your business? How do we commonly build our businesses? We just get along and figuring things out as we move along. The setback with this type of setting up of our business is, just like with any constructed building that after a certain period of time, the cracks will show up. They'll start out small and then gradually expand to large messy and very expensive issues that can no longer be ignored. A cracked foundation is damaged, weakened, unstable, torn apart and when this happens, in your business, it will crumble everything you have worked so hard. What does it sound like to the outside people, bad economy, or I'm not lucky, or it was not meant to be, you name it. This is a great analogy for so many. Bobby Knight said once, the wheel to win is not nearly as important as the wheel to prepare to win. So, how do you set up your foundation? First, you will need a business plan. It doesn't need to be complicated, just make sure it comprises of the following. Know your product and services. Know your customer. Know the value of your product and service. Determine if you can make profit. Know how much it costs to start up your business, and how you want to finance your business in future and also you must know what you want to achieve by the end of the first year. Second foundation, you will need a team, people who believes in your vision and are ready to work with you. Third foundation, you need to legalize, you need to make everything legal. Now let's take a look at challenges involved at this stage. First challenge, stability and growth challenge. In creating new business, and moving into a competitive world requires you to develop more business skills, knowledge, expertise and leadership skills. What you need to face this challenge. Do business planning to assess the feasibility of your business concept. Study business regulatory requirement in your country. Do your SWOT analysis at this stage and compare with previous for improvement. Second challenge. Technology and Production Challenge In moving to the real world, you need to prepare schedules, define and describe milestones. You meet continuous questions that require you to refine your idea. 
What you need to do to face this challenge. Select legal structure of your new company and register it. Register your patent, trademark, and copyright right away. Prepare and design product and service features and specifications and then prepare your competitive advantage. Third challenge, marketing and competition challenge. You might have overestimated your market share. This is time to revise. Your brand is unknown and you are experiencing low market acceptance and customer resist to change. What you needed to do to face this challenge. Prepare your marketing strategy. Refine your package to make early traction. Refine your pricing model. Learn about first-time marketing mistakes most entrepreneurs make. And finally, develop your competing skills. Fourth challenge, financial challenge. You might start to experience insufficient funds or need to address basic capital and cash flow issues, but you still have to consider financing it yourself. What you needed to do to face this challenge. Consider selecting the type of financing required for different types of activities. Prepare the key documents for business capital investors, depending on type of funding you choose. Fifth challenge, management and team building. At this point, you don't have enough time. You can't do everything yourself, you face constant firefighting, and you feel the overload. What you needed to do to face this challenge. Build up a management team. Build an innovation-friendly business. Build your leadership skills. Learn how to delegate power. Learn how to build trust in organizations. Learn business management and corporate management principles, and develop your own unique model.